Hello, welcome to another edition of Pepper Comparison Picks. I'm Ranj. Um, today I will be giving you the picks for NFL Week 7, just some select games because I don't know the I don't know what's going on with the afternoon stuff. But I, I got the one o'clock a one o'clock game and then two afternoon games. Of one of them, I, did they flip flop or something? One of them used to be a night game and now I think this was a night game and now it's an afternoon game. I really don't know. I don't know because I'm I saw it two different times times so I don't know. But anyway, we're just gonna call it NFL Week Seven Select Games. I uh, bang this out quick because these games start in roughly four hours. Uh, Nora, my daughter, stayed at her cousin's last night. And my wife just went to the grocery store. Yeah, and my son, Brandon, stayed also at his they're at the cousin's. So I'm here at the house alone. I had to go masturbate with the volume all the way up, but eh. These games are coming. These games are starting in about four hours. So, gambling. Let's do it. Let's get let's get my bets in. Okay, I already made DraftKings lineups. One for every showdown. Three for you know the main pick. Or I did one for all the one o'clock games or you know morning games. One for a, a DraftKings list for all the later games. But. Anyway, let's get to this. If you're new to my show, what I do is I take my favorite sports handicappers um, and I pick, take their picks and I place them on who the, which side they are taking in these, you know, games. Uh, I have another video for earlier games for like three one o'clock games I did earlier, but uh, uh, let me stop rambling. Just took the dogs out, you know what that means. Anyway, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with the one o'clock game. We have the Buffalo Bills taking on my winless New York Jets. Yeah, I have a habit of throwing $20 down the, flushing $20 down the toilet on the Jets every weekend. That's just, that's my, the fan in me thinking there's a chance. There could be a chance. <laughs> But anyway, let's just go. Let's see what the cappers say, the real guys, the ones that don't ever tail me on a Jets game because my heart will always win out. Today, it, when I go pick up my kids from my cousins, my brother happens to be a huge Buffalo Bills fan, Phil Bill fan, and my parents. They might be at my parents' house by then because my brother always goes to my parents' house to watch the Bills game. And my... Buffalo Bill parents. They're all big Buffalo fans too. Anyway, this is, uh, Jets are probably going to get destroyed and I'll probably just uh, be in shame at home. I'll probably get mad and turn it off and watch Netflix. So, let's see what's going on. The spread is shifted. It's opened up, I want to say, at like 12 and a half. I've seen it even at, or like 13. Now, I checked late last night before I fell asleep. Ten points was the spread. The Bills come into this four and two on the season. They are, of course, the huge underdog or favorites at minus five twenty-five. The Jets are, of course, the underdogs at plus four twenty. Plus four twenty. Yep. If you got the Bills covering. A touchdown and a field goal, or however else you want to make up five, 10 points. If you got them covering 10 points, that'll, that minus 525 will drop to a reasonable minus 113. That's, that's your best bet on this entire game. But the Jets, J E T S, just end this suffering and get rid of Adam Gase. Please just get rid of Adam Gase. I don't care if you lose the rest of the games of the season. It, look, it looks like you're going to anyway. Just get rid of Adam Gase. That's all I'm asking. Anyway, the Jets 0-6, of course, plus 420. If you if you want to take that plus 10 points, um, it'll drop it down to a minus 107. Over under set at 41 and a half. Now let's go. Let's see what these guys have to say. Um, 
Start out with uh, Touchdown Kingdom. He is a Jets fan, but, well, you know, he has, it's Richie from Jets Media, and he has this Touchdown Kingdom, which is obviously an unbiased, uh, unbiased prediction show because he's taking the Bills to, to beat the Jets 24 to 10. Okay, but then jumping over, taking the J-E-T-S. We've got my buddy, Big E, Eric Arnold. He's taking them at plus, he got them at plus 10 and a half. Okay. Um, also taking the Jets, uh, I hold them in a very high regard. It's Big Rye and the fat guy. What's Disclaimer, fat guy, he puts his, they put the big red and fat guy, they put their original pick show out very early. I want to say Sunday night. Or is it Sunday night? Monday? I don't know, but he always puts that in the comments. So a disclaimer, his uh, odds are very, when they first open, like, uh, I think they're going to, they're probably going to make their prediction video for week eight, probably late tonight, or I don't know if I'm, yeah, it's got to it's got to happen on. I think it happens on Mondays. He they, he does that on Monday or maybe in Tuesday right after the Monday night game. I don't know, but he does them super early, super early. So the odds and are out way early because he's got the Jets, but he fat guy's got them plus twelve and a half. That's actually when I made I already made this bet. Already you know my. Weekly twenty dollars throwing at the Jets, throwing it, throw it away, and I got it at thirteen. So, ha ha. But anyway, um, plus twelve and a half for Fat Guy. <clears throat> then we have uh, get this. Uh, this is a new guy I brought in um, just this this week. I've never used him before. Sport Expert One Hundred One. Uh, he is, he is saying the score is coincidentally, Richie and Sport Expert 101, you guys, same exact score. 24 to 10. Isn't that a coincidence? Hmm. Maybe somebody's watching somebody else's show. Or nah, I'm just kidding. That's, that's a kind of a popular, you know, touchdown field goal and a few touchdowns with the that points, you know, that's, that's a popular score anyway, but that's just coincidence. Both Richie and Sport Expert 101 are saying the Bills 24, Jets 10. Hey, maybe I'll throw a couple of bucks at that. I might as well. I like wasting money on stupid bets. <laughs> anyway, um, for the tiebreaker, I, cause I, all right, I only took five, um, Yesterday, the UFC was phenomenal. Uh, could be retired. But I'm not talking about UFC during NFL. Wait, so to explain, I only took five handicappers for NFL. It's, like, it's, it's different than the UFC. You don't, the, you don't go into in-depth breakdowns. You can summarize a breakdown in a minute. And, you know, it's, and it's, a, it's a score. It's, they're totally different sports. They're totally different types of handicapping. But anyways, I got five handicappers. So it's two to two. We have the tiebreaker. I'm using, um, unfortunately, Pearl of uh, Wisdom, uh, Steve Perlo, BPAL picks. I can't use your picks unless you make a video. You can text them to me, but that doesn't help. What link am I gonna put in my, gonna put a link in my description to my text? I can't do it, bud. So the only way I can use your football picks is if you or Joey B, if one of you guys makes a, or the, you guys together make a video so I can put the link in the description. I can't link text messages with, oh, I'm going to take the Panthers. I'm taking, and I can't, <laughs> oh, and uh, to prove that, and plus half your picks are paid Patreon picks. I'm not going to, come on guys. Steve, you, yeah, you, ah, Perlo did, you, get it together, come on, make a video if you want me to use your picks. So I'm using, as a tiebreaker, I'm using Riz from The Goat House, um, Goat House is 
a community of, I think, or a group of like four friends that are handicappers. I, I think, this is what I pick up. Um, they do a stream with all four of them throwing out their predictions and picks. But the following day after the stream, Riz, one of the guys from Go House, makes a full uh, weekly every game prediction score prediction video, which I love. But Riz has got the Bills by covering a lot. <laughs> He's got the Bills 34, the J-E-T-S 13. That sounds just about right. But, you know, my <laughs> stupid big jet loving heart, I, you know, I'm a daydreamer. I don't really care. I told you to fade me. I, I will, you know, I'm always going to take the Jets. Sensibly, the Bills, sensibly, the Bills should win and cover 10 points. But you know what? Maybe not. Sam Darnold should be coming back. I don't, uh, DraftKings has Jameson Crowder as doubtful. So I'm not sure that w what I did was I took, uh, Braxton Berrios, because he's super cheap. <laughs> anyway, uh, to get back to this, let's, I'm going to say, um, this is the fun part where I can make up this fantasy score, this fantastical imagina imagination I have. Um, we'll have the Bills at 21, and the Jets, 20. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, that'll, that will most likely not happen, but this is my show, so I can play with it as much as I want. You know? So there you go. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. All right, moving on. Next, this is where I don't know. One of 49ers Patriots are at 4, 425, and this one. Originally, I have it written down as 420, but then when I printed out my uh, my odd sheet from um, Bet Online, it said, uh, "Look, it has is Tampa Bay at 820, and it has the New England Patriots at 425." But on my paper that I wrote. On my research, you know, my, the sh this shit that I do, <laughs> when I wrote this out, I had the 49ers Patriots game at 425 and Tampa Bay Raiders at 820. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Wait, what, what did I just say? Whatever. You know what? I'm going to do Tampa Bay Raiders and then I'm going to do the 49ers and the Patriots. Only because I don't, yeah. Because I said so. That's why. I apologize for being so loopy this morning. But it was, it was you know, it was a fun night with no kids. And it's a pretty good morning so far. I got to sleep in without any kids waking me up, running around. Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, can I get some milk or some orange juice? Daddy, daddy, daddy. It was, it's a nice, pleasant break to not have that, wake up to that this morning. I slept, I woke up on my own with a cat sleeping on my lap. It was nice. Um, anyway, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay comes into this four wins, two losses. They are uh, favorites at minus 225. Um, if they got them covering four and a half points, it's at minus 110. That has shifted too. I just looked it on the computer, went up to five. But like I said, I wrote this, I wrote this uh, stuff down, the marker stuff down, last night. So th these odds are from last night. This morning, that jumped up to five, and that's like at minus one hundred three. But speaking of that, the Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, playing in their new uh, Raiders. What do they call it? The Terror Dome, Thunder Dome? I don't know something. Um, Raiders are three and two underdogs at plus 195. That's that's nice. 
And like I said, four and a half or five. We're going to keep it four and a half. That's what I wrote down at minus 110. Uh, over under is set at 52. Oh, by the way, up, I'll get to that when I do the recap. <coughs> over under set at 52. Let's see what these. I'm going to. Oh, this one's going to come down to a tiebreaker also. We've got uh, Richie from Touchdown Kingdom. He's taking Tampa Bay 31-24. Then, over here, we've got Eric Arnold, a.k.a. Big E. Eric Arnold now, he's doing political programming. And what's crazy is like Eric Arnold hit sports picks. His sports picks, he had, I'm not exaggerating, he had literally like 40 subscribers, but he was still pumping out videos. That's why I like Eric Arnold. I like him. I like the sports bar and I like Big E. He's the one that got me into using whiteboards. He is, he is the, my inspiration. <laughs> Even though he had like no subscribers when the 24 you know when i first saw him he only had whatever but anyway uh so he is he's there he is last week at 40 subscribers he puts this uh political video up about the uh, joe biden this is two weeks ago and the whole ukraine and the hunter biden thing he puts that up and i'm like yeah okay blah 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 i try not i try to keep politics out of my life so i don't get in arguments with my wife but uh so then anyway he puts this other uh, video out, and it's about uh, another Joe Biden controversy thing, and it's, he drops this guy's name, I forgot, Billy Bob, or, well, I forgot the guy's name, but, because I, I really, I could give, I, I, I couldn't care much less on politics, because that's it, just, it's fighting words in, in this house. My wife is a, uh, yeah, she's Democrat, and she's, and I am more of a libertarian. I don't, anyway, I'm not talking about, point is, Eric Arnold did this video last week, and for some reason, the guy's name, political, uh, the guy, Joe Biden, and Hunter Biden, and I watched the thing too, I watched it, there's this email, I just can't think of the guy's name. The guy, but he put it in his um, his uh, title of his video. He had four thousand something views. <laughs> four thousand something people viewed that episode, and his subscriptions went to forty. To now, he's at like a hundred and seven. Good on you, Eric Arnold. I'm very happy for you. Keep pump, keep pumping out political videos. I guess that's what the, I guess that's what your people want. You have 4,000 people coming to that sports barn, not to hear your college football picks or your NFL picks, but to hear your talk, hear you talk about uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and that other Billy Ballow or I, I don't, I can't, he had it some, it was a nice name though. It's like, <laughs> it's nice to say, but I can't, I should have researched it before I Made this video. Uh, no, you know what? I shouldn't. I don't care. Eric Arnold's taking the Raiders. But check, go ahead. Links in the description to all these uh, handicappers. Check out Eric Arnold's uh, political videos. They are very interesting. He is, yeah. He, it started out, he said, because of um, censorship. On, you know what? Check them out. I'm not, this show is about uh, capper comparison picks. But to be forewarned, he is a sports capper that loves to talk about politics. His whiteboards, he is now dedicating one whiteboard to political talk. The other one is still sports. That's the one I care about. <clears throat> Sorry to ramble on about Eric Arnold, Big E. Uh, here we go. Um, sport, or uh, this is a Riz. Riz from the Goat House. Man, I really hate when I smudge marker. Riz is taking Tampa Bay to win and cover. Look at this. What's his score? 31 to 24. 
What? Uh, Richie, what's going on? Uh, isn't this weird? Richie and Sport Expert, 24 to 10 on this game. And then down here, Richie and Riz, 34 to 24. How, what's the probability of them, of two different handicappers and Richie nailing their pit, like the prediction scores, right? That just is such a weird coincidence. Uh, Big Ryan, fat guy. That guy has the Raiders, and he said, right now it's at plus one, four and a half. He was going to, he's taking them at plus three, but I told you, early odds. Early odds, Big Ryan, the fat guy. He's the first show I watch all week because it's like the earliest, and it's the most informative when it comes to sports gambling. He, that, those two, that, I would love to hang out with them sometime, just, you know, chill, just have you know, talk sports for what they, I like, I like big Ryan, fat, the fat guy. Tiebreaker, it's the new guy from Sport Expert 101. What is he saying? He's saying Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Sport Expert 101. Sport Expert, he's saying the score is going to be 34 to 14. Tampa Bay winning by 10. And there you have it. The majority of the Cappers are going for Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I did take Rob Gronkowski as my tight end in DraftKings, if that's any consolation. But for the game, I'm riding with that big plus money right here, plus 195. I think the Raiders are going to win it outright at home. They have the skills. I also took Josh Jacobs as my running back. So, yeah, I'm all about the Raiders winning this. You know, now that the Jets are absolutely horrible, I am kind of a Raiders fan. But uh, this is going to be, aside from the Steelers-Titans game, this is the second, this is the game of the afternoon. Steelers-Titans, they're playing at one. This game is what I'm going to be watching afternoon or evening. What, what is it, Evening? This game is tonight, so I don't know, but it's going to be a full day of football. That's why I got to get this done before I have to go, before my wife gets back from the grocery store, and I got to go pick up my kids. So this is going to be high scoring too, I think, because uh, uh, all the offensive weapons that Tampa Bay and the Raiders have, I'd like to say it's going to be up in the 30s for both. Um, but no, I'm gonna say 28 to 35. Yeah, big hefty score going over. There you have it. Finally, we've got, I think this is at 425, I do believe. We've got the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New England Patriots. Okay, 49ers coming to this with a even record on the season. Three wins, three losses. They are the underdogs at plus 135. They are traveling across the country from San Francisco to come to Foxborough, uh, Massachusetts to play the two and three New England Patriots favorites at minus 155. The spread is pretty Close at two and a half. It's within a field goal. Um, 49ers, if you got them, if you want the two and a half points, it'll drop that plus 135, but it's still a plus number, but it'll drop it to a plus 107 because it's just two and a half points, you know. Patriots, they are at minus 155, but it's, if you got them covering that field goal, which you might as well, it's at minus 127, okay? Uh, over under set at 44 and a half. Either way, you're at minus 110. All right, taking the Patriots. Let me add in Bill Belichick, you know, Garoppolo. Bill Belichick knows Garoppolo's weaknesses. He knows this Eric. I learned this from Eric Arnold. He, he does know his sports. Eric Arnold's saying, he's like, Think about it, Bill Belichick, you know, he coached uh, Garoppolo for all those years on when he was second string behind Brady. 
Belichick knows Garoppolo. He knows what he hates to do, what he doesn't do good. On his, like, does he throw well under prep? He knows all his weaknesses, Belichick does. So you got to consider, and Garoppolo is bringing his team coming from San Fran into Bill Belichick's house. And with Cam Newton, his rising, you know, the his new quarterback, because Tom Brady, of course, went to Tampa Bay, which I love that still. Um, but, yeah, Belichick is not going to lose this game. All right. Yeah, he's going to cover that two and a half. I'll say that right on. And you know what? Everybody else seems to think so, too. We've got uh, Big E, Eric Arnold. He's the one that really pounded the nail in the coffin. I had a little couple... 49er because I have I work with a, a a 49ers fan big supporter and uh, one of my I like to call her my little sister the girl that cuts my hair she's a huge 49ers fan too but what do they know they're not handicappers <laughs> they're just fans um, sport expert 101 sport X he is saying the score is going to be 49ers 17 Patriots. 26. Then we have uh, Fat Guy. Big Ryan the Fat Guy. Fat Guy's taking the Patriots to cover two and a half. So I've got to write it down. He had the odds obviously didn't change. Touchdown Kingdom. Richie. What you got, Richie? Um, Richie's saying 24 to 27. And what a coincidence, Riz is saying the same thing. No, he's not. <laughs> imagine, oh, imagine that would be something. It wouldn't, you know, something, but nothing really. Doesn't really make a difference. 20, Riz is saying 49ers 20, Patriots 24, therefore also covering that spread. And finally, is that everybody? One, one, two, three, four, five. Everybody but me. Well, anyway, that's a full capper consensus from pearls. A full capper consensus is when all the handicappers pick the same side. In this case, every handicapper that I looked at, well, in the, for this video, is taking the New England Patriots to cover two and a half points over Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. I cannot help but do the same thing and I am a Patriots hater because I'm a Jets fan I you know I do but dude they're gonna win this game all right um we'll say the score Patriots their defense at home is going to be tough too I don't think I'll give the I'll give the 49ers 10 or 14 I'll give them 14 14 uh Patriots um 24, 14, 24, and that's 38, so that's under, so, to recap, time check, I've got the Buffalo Bills going into New Jersey to take on the Jets and leaving as losers, losers. The Jets are going to get their first win today, despite what everybody else is saying. I'm taking them, the Jets on the money line to win a close game within a touchdown, but coming out on top. And it's going to go over the 46 and a half. Bam! Next week, when I make the Week 8 show, I'll be saying, I told you so. Then I have, uh, whew, that was fun. Then I have... The Las Vegas Raiders. This might be the late night game. I'm not really sure, but they will play tonight. Today, boom! I got the Raiders beating Tampa Bay. That's also going to be a pretty close game, but it's going to be a high scoring game. But Josh Jacobs is going to have over 100 yards rushing today. He's going to run that ball down Tampa Bay's throat. And yeah, I have the Raiders coming out on top. High scoring game. And 
Yeah, Raiders getting the points anyway. Finally, I've got the Patriots. Bill Belichick is not going to let Jimmy Garoppolo... He's, he, like, I, like I already discussed, and Big E will tell you also, Bill Belichick's Patriots will not lose today in Fox. Bro, there's no... I don't care. It's not going to happen. San Francisco is going to have a disappointing road trip back home <laughs> because they're going to have lost 14 to 24. I think that's going to stay under the 44. I got a feeling that uh, for San Francisco, it's not gonna, it's, they're not going to have a good time getting things going. Patriots defense at home are monsters. I don't know what happened against that Denver, you know, last that loss to Denver. Uh, 18 to 12. That was low scoring. Just, I don't, hey, I don't know. Um, 49ers are coming off the win too. Anyway, whatever. There you have it. To, or gather your info, place your bets and cash those tickets. I appreciate you dealing with me today. Um, give me that thumbs up. Go ahead and leave comments in the description on who you... I know, <laughs> disregard this game. I'm just an idiot. But I am a Jet faithful. So what are you going to do? When Thick and thin, you got to stick with them. That's, that's, how, that's how a team fan is supposed to be. Supposed to be. Okay? So there you have it. Good luck on these bets. I'll see you next episode.